So um, I'm speaking with uh, Vera Spencer Johnson, who is married to my father, and she has been a caregiver to him as he has suffered dementia for several years now. It was mild at first, and then it continued to get worse and worse and worse. And as the disease progressed, not only did it affect his life, but it affected her life as a caregiver and also social aspects of their lives. Um, so Vera, can you tell us how having a spouse who has um, a disease, especially something like um, dementia, has changed your life? Because I can certainly imagine it has. Definitely. Um, well, during the time when my husband was home and I was caring for him, um, as a dementia patient, you you can't go to functions. <laughs> you can't go to the ball or to the party, um, to your friend's house because they have dementia and social graces just are not, uh, they don't have any anymore. Mm -hmm. So after after a while, you're not, you're no longer invited. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, people feel uncomfortable around people that have a sickness or an illness and dementia. You can't have a conversation with someone that has dementia. Mm -hmm. So people feel uncomfortable. So they don't invite you to uh, social settings and you don't feel comfortable going to functions and being in a social setting because something could happen that embarrasses your spouse or embarrasses you and you don't want them to have to go through that and you don't want to have to go through that either. Yes. And I can imagine that people feel uncomfortable because um, they don't understand. And a lot of times we feel uncomfortable because we don't know what to say or how to behave when people have um, a disability or they have an illness or they have a disease and it's very difficult. And so I would like to encourage people, you know, uh, we were talking and I remember you saying, you know, you hadn't lived alone since you were 21 years old because that was, you got married, you had kids and you always had somebody around. And so I can That's only right. imagine the huge change that must be. It's a, uh, it's a significant change. And, you know, at my age, um, you know, like I said, I haven't lived alone since I was 21 years old. Mm -hmm. So the thing about having a home and living alone is you have to do everything. Yes. <laughs> All yes. the things my husband used to do, he is no longer there to do those things. Mm -hmm. And so dealing with everything that goes with being a homeowner um, is in your lap now. Yes. And so I, I have to... I have to find someone to fix this and to fix that, or I have to fix it. Uh, um, I have to do everything and, um, and deal with all the medical issues that he's having to deal with also. So even though he is in a facility, there's still a lot of work um, and, and conversations and, and decisions that have to be made. So, um, when I say your life changes forever, it does. Um, yes. Just, just dealing with everything is different. It's all different now. Well, I want to thank you for your transparency. Um, and I would like people who are seeing this short clip, this is not part of the broadcast. Um, we wanted to share this with you. And hopefully if you've learned anything here, um, just know that you need to take certain precautions and be aware of things. And if you know someone um, who is aging, who is having a problem, you know, there are small things that start to happen. Like if a person um, used to take out the trash all the time and all of a sudden they're forgetting to take out the trash. Or if a person, you know, typically took a shower two or three times a day and they're, they're, they're not even wanting to take it once or a day or once a week, you know, notice some of these things that are happening. And as the caregiver, care for yourself and also care for them. Um, if the, you found this helpful, I would certainly ask you to check out uh, the full episode dealing with dementia on YouTube on the Authentic Joe Show. And um, we want to encourage you to have hope, to choose to be courageous. And part of being courageous is putting away the ego, the fear, the shame, you are part of a larger community and many people are suffering through these things. 
but they won't know. And you won't know that they are unless you talk about it. So I encourage you to get support professionally and personally, and it can certainly make a difference. Vera, thank you so much for taking such great care of my father. And thank you so much for taking better care of you. All right. Thank All you. Right. You're welcome. Thank you.